All right, guys, so there seems to be some kind of delay going on with the FSD beta 11.3.2 rollout. Originally, this was supposed to be the major rollout that was going to happen right across North America. Everybody that subscribes to FSD beta was just going to get the software right away. Now, up until the safety score method was scrapped, there was no longer a need to really do anything. You just have to purchase or subscribe to FSD beta opt in and essentially you should get the software update an hour or two from then. Now, as you guys already know, the long awaited single stack is finally out. It has gone through so many iterations before it got into the public beta testers hands, but there seems to be some kind of delay going on right now because it's not happening the way it's supposed to. Normally it's very understandable that it comes out in batches not to bog down the servers. However, this time it's taking a lot longer than usual and the batches that are coming out are very, very minor. Now, I wouldn't say that it's gone so far to the point that it's completely stopped because it's still rolling out to one or two beta users at once. You can follow all this progress directly on the Tesla Scope website or just follow them on Twitter. They're really awesome. They provide all the details of all the software updates that have gone out. But so far from roughly what I know, 200 or less owners have gotten FSD beta 11.3.2. Now, if you guys aren't aware, this is the single stack build and that is supposed to come Combined two codes, the city and the highway stack together. So the transitions is very, very seamless. However, from what we've gathered right now, it looks like only the OG beta testers have gotten their hands on it. Now, when I'm talking about the OG testers, I'm talking about the ones that you guys typically see on YouTube and on Twitter posting their drives. It seems like Tesla has put them on some kind of preferential treatment list and they're getting all the latest updates. They're getting it way ahead of everyone else. And I find this completely unfair because we're forking out $15,000 and it shouldn't matter if you post videos online or you don't, you should get it at the exact same time that they do. But anyways, pushing that argument aside, let's just talk about the rollouts and what's happening right now. So officially, it looks like only two rollouts have happened. The two batches are really generally for employees and for these public influencers, as I mentioned. If you follow these supposed VIPs on YouTube or on Twitter, you're going to notice that they've been posting pretty regular updates and there seems to be some kind of regression from 11.3.2. Now, I'm not going to list every single issue that people have been encountering with this update, but I'm just going to run through a quick list here that I've noticed in the last two days that they've been talking about, and it's quite substantial to the point where I think the rollout has essentially slowed down to a halt because of these problems. Now, of course, I'm going to be talking about the Tesla Vision and the parking stack. I did already push out a video about that. If you guys haven't already checked it out, I'll drop the link right up top there. Essentially, I talked about what's going on, when you guys should be expecting it on your vehicle, and who it's limited to right now. I'll have more about that in an upcoming video, and as soon as anything comes out, I will keep you guys updated as well, so make sure you guys hit the subscribe and the bell notification. Let's go ahead now and let's talk about some of the flaws of 11.3.2. Alright, so the number one thing is that it inches up from red light. So there has been a lot of indications of this for whatever reason, FSD beta seems to like to inch up even though it's currently a red light. It obviously wouldn't shoot off the line like how I'm implying it, but it kind of rolls off getting ready to shoot off the line. This can be quite dangerous because there could be somebody in the crosswalk and it could be another vehicle just cutting the red light. So overall, a very dangerous maneuver here and Tesla really needs to address this before the full, full wide roll. Now the second thing here, and I think you guys are quite familiar with this, and that's the hesitation during acceleration and the sudden slowdowns. So for whatever reason, the vehicle still believes that some kind of ghost object in front of it, and it just quickly slows down, and then it figures out there's nothing, so it accelerates again. It can be quite jarring at times, and you guys have experienced this during the autopilot and then enhanced autopilot and even stages of FSD beta. Alright, so onto the third one, and obviously we can't forget this, and this is the odd lane changes that it does on the highway. Even if you set it to chill to Mad Max, it will just do random lane changes. This is why during some of the road trips that I take with my friends, I don't put it into enhanced autopilot or FSD beta because it does all these wonky things such as going into the fast lane and then moving over to the slow lane within a span of five seconds. And there's really no explanation to it. So at this moment where we are right now, the OG beta testers are essentially still saying it's doing the 
exact same things. Now, number four on the list is that it's not smooth and it's very hesitant when it's around people or around bicyclists. It feels like it doesn't want to get around them and it just wants to stay behind them the entire time. It thinks about wanting to get around them, but it doesn't make the final maneuver. So essentially in the end, it just confuses everybody around you. It causes traffic at the back of you and it makes the bicyclist feel pressured. All right, so for this final one here, even I'm surprised by it. It is from someone that takes pretty much non-intervention drives almost every single time with FSD beta builds. This is Omar on Whole Mars catalog. He essentially has all these amazing drives in San Francisco. Even he had to say that FSD 11.3.2 is a regression, especially in the rain. He took a couple drives in the latest build and he showed his frustrations online. So it really surprised me there. But I think it's not just one specific thing that he's talking about here. I think it's just an overall regression of this update compared to the last. So of course, all this can be quite disappointing for those of you guys that have been waiting for this build to go out. This is where you guys are just going to have to be a little bit more patient and wait for Tesla's words and what they're going to do next. Now, I haven't forgotten about you guys just waiting purely for the parking measurement distances with Tesla Vision. I know that the rest of the world doesn't get to experience this yet, and it even limits it even more that it's only FSD beta testers that do get this Tesla Vision system that Tesla has been talking about in this update. So how it works is you have to be in North America, you have to have a car that has no ultrasonic sensors, and you also have to be subscribed or purchased FSD beta outright. Now, if you guys checked all that off the list, there is still a chance you're not gonna get in on your vehicles just because of what's happening to this rollout. So like I mentioned, it's only available to some of the OG beta testers right now. Whoever is VIP on Tesla's list pretty much has it. Now, you guys are probably asking how come this vision system is already out on some of the vehicles, but we have no videos posted online anywhere. We don't have even pictures of it working other than Green's one single screenshot of it. Now, my only real guess here is that it's so limited in terms of the rollout. At the moment, Tesla Scope is showing roughly 200 beta testers getting this firmware. So there's not enough people out there that have the newer vehicles that don't have ultrasonic sensors. Just keep in mind that all these OG beta testers and these employees, they have older versions of vehicles, definitely older than 2022. So they're not gonna get any of these new Tesla Vision features. They're just gonna rely solely on the parking sensors. Only those that don't have the circular dots on their bumpers are going to get the new animations as you guys can see in this picture here. So my real assumption is even though Green has posted this image, it is not available to any cars that are on the FSD beta 11.3.2 list as of now. Now, if you guys really think about it, Green was the only person that showed us this screenshot in the release notes, whereas everyone else that got the release note or got this update showed a totally different release note screen. It didn't include this new Tesla Vision animation as Green has shown us. So Green might have gotten the screenshot from an overall release note for all vehicles, not for just specific ones without it. So until that point that Tesla starts rolling out to more vehicles, the chances of us seeing a non-ultrasonic vehicle car is quite low. And with all of these other issues going on, the raw information says it all. Tesla is going to have to fix these issues before the rest of the world gets it. Now I think once we get everything working again, Tesla is probably going to release version 11.3.3 as the wide rollout to North America. And by that point, when everything is safe and good, they're gonna roll out the parking stack that has all the new animation for Tesla Visions. All these cars all around the world with just basic autopilot or enhanced autopilot are gonna get this new parking distance animation. So until then, we're just gonna have to wait and see what the next move is, or probably none of this is actually as big as it sounds and they're just releasing it slowly for whatever reason. But regardless of whatever happens, I'll keep you guys up to date as soon as I get any more information or as soon as I see the first vehicle with this new Tesla animation go up, I'm gonna make a video for you guys and keep you guys as updated as possible. If you guys haven't already subscribed to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe to it and hit that bell notification. I am also on Twitter at HeyJohnE, so join me there, follow me there if you guys want to just discuss things with me or ask me some questions. I try to respond as much as I can, be it YouTube or Twitter, so make sure you guys reach out. Anyways guys, this should be it for this video. This is John once again. Peace out.